It is now 26 minutes to 8. This is the political point on Morning Express. We are now going to open up the phone lines. Also, do let us know what your thoughts are on the current affairs that we're talking about here. A quick reintroduction of who we have in studio. We have uh, Honorable uh, Samuel Chepkonga, who is a former member of parliament for Anai Boy, and also Senator Ledama Olekina, who is a senator for Nara County. So... What happens if Raila boycotts the election? Jubilee Senate Majority Leader Kipchumba Murkomen assures that Jubilee is ready for any eventuality. Let's listen in. I want to assure the country that there shall be an election of the president on 26th of October. I have heard our colleagues say there shall be no elections. I want to tell them in no uncertain terms, we are prepared. We are properly prepared as Jubilee for even a situation where they will not participate in the elections or where they will want to cause violence so that the election cannot take place or where they want to go to court to stop the elections from taking place. We are prepared for all the scenarios. All right, so that's what he had to say. Let me start with you, Honorable Chep Konga. Jubilee is prepared. What preparations are in place? Uh, Michael, let me tell you. You know, when we were very disappointed, of course, with the ruling of the Supreme Court, uh, to nullify the lead of uh, uh, Kenyatta, in which he had outrightly won with uh, a margin of 1.5 million votes. Uh, but not that, that is water under the bridge. We cannot go back. The decision has been made. We have accepted, but grudgingly we have said, look, since we believe in the rule of law, let us continue to soldier on. Because we believe ultimately the Kenyans must make the decision. And what you have just heard Murkomen say is that, you know, we as Jubilee, notwithstanding our disappointment, discouragement by the Supreme Court, we have said, let us roll up our sleeves, let us move to the campaigns. And that's the reason why you see most of us are on the campaign trail, including the president himself. He is not a joker. He has just decided to comply and to obey the instructions and the orders of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court made it abundantly very clear that Jubilee... And NASA, you go back for fresh elections. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have just done. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we are being accused is we are being accused for being uh, law-abiding citizens by accepting, okay. by, accepting what the, by accepting what the Supreme Court has stated. Mm -hmm. we, although we, we did not agree with them. We did not agree with them. We said, look, you know, this is not a fair decision. This was in all angles. I mean, I'm a lawyer myself. Of almost 30 years. I mean, surely. Okay, good. For, 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 somebody, for somebody to come up and nullify the numbers. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, I stood on the queue. In fact, I was not even allowed to Honorable bypass Chief the queue. Allow, allow, allow me to we pause voted. and interrupt yes. a little bit, because I want us to look at where we are today. That's yeah. where we were, but where we are today. What happens from a legal perspective if Raila Amolo Odinga pulls out and says he will not participate? And, and uh, you, you just had Murkomen stating very clearly what the law says. The what elections the... will have to be conducted, and I told you, the window for abandonment so that the president uh, Uhuru Kenyatta is declared as the duly elected president as soon as passed. He should have abandoned this three days if he thought that there is not going to be a so level it, playing field. Mm -hmm. Now it is too late. Elections must be conducted by IBC in all the 290 constituencies. Whether Raila Odinga or Kalonso likes it, it is, that's a moot point. This grandstanding and brinkmanship, uh, political brinkmanship in Nairobi here will not help them to get the votes, will not, will not help them to become the president of this country. If their desire is to become the president of this country, is that they need to participate, they need to convince Kenyans, including me, that they should vote for him. At the moment, I don't see why I should vote for them. Okay. Because they have not convinced me. I think, uh... if, 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 if the only thing that they are seeking to convince Kenyans is to stone me, while driving right. along a wood highway, Senator. which I saw they've stoned so many vehicles, damaging them, destroying people's property, Senator. All in, right. the, in the name of exercising some See. constitutional right. All right. I mean, See, surely. Senator. Uh, one thing yeah. is that, and I want to remind my good friend here, is that you cannot force me to do anything against my will. No, not even the court can force Raila to participate in an election which he knows that laws are being made to disadvantage him. That is issue number one. Number two, you cannot, as a state, and I know this is what you'll probably try to do, you cannot force Kenyans to go and vote in each of the 290 constituencies if they say they do not vote. I want to give you 
a good sober advice, and I know my good friend uh, Kitunyi would give you the same advice. Do not ignore Raila. Ignore him at your own uh, peril. You cannot. What we ought to do now is to say, gentlemen, we are in this situation. And I want to repeat this categorically that this country is very important for the 45 million Kenyans. We ought to sit down and say, here we are, there are no elections which are going to be held. Because the demands that we asked for, what we, IBC violated. They actually ignored the court orders. No, we have requested, one of the players has requested that make these changes, okay? But before even those changes are made, the other player comes in and says, you know what, I'm smarter than you. Because I have numbers, I will change the laws to be able to make sure that they are adv advantageous towards my, my side. So in this case, we have a problem. We have a very serious problem. And what I ought to be hearing from you is this, what are we going to do? Because you cannot interpret the law the way you want to interpret it. You cannot say it, the, the law is very clear, the elections are going to be held. What if I say in narrow case they will not be held? You're going to use Matiangi's guns and everything to force people to go and vote. Mm -hmm. This is a very my, serious my point, crisis. And point. I think it has happened before in India, and I think even in this country, maybe a situation whereby during the colonial period there were issues. Mm. Okay? So what we ought to do is now contemplate having a fresh elections being, uh, you know, uh, held maybe within 90 days or something like that. Mm. That is what we ought to be talking about. But Michael, let me, let me tell you. You know, we, we are being uh, persuaded and convinced by my friend that we should not uh, ignore Raila. We cannot ignore a candidate who has been duly nominated by his party uh. and has been gazetted to participate in the elections of the 26th of October. And that is the reason why you see President Uru is in court, he's been all over the place campaigning because he has not ignored him, because he knows he's also participating in this election. Two, NASA, the NASA brigade, went and had a meeting with IBC. It was not an idle meeting. I'm told it went for three or four hours. What would they be discussing for three hours? They were not discussing the abandonment of elections. They were trying to convince and persuade IBC that they should accept the irreducible minimum. And I think Chabukati came out and said, we have had a deal. It is only that uh, NASA said, you know, we don't have a deal. You know, the only deal which comes uh, that is acceptable to NASA is a deal that will be announced by one candidate called Raila Odinga. I mean, there's not going to be like anything like that. You think we will accept to be taken to the slaughterhouse uh, like a cow? All right. Uh, who, does not, who, does, who is not aware <laughs> that it's Bishop going to Konga. be slaughtered? Second, <laughs> let, let, me, let me, yes, just, Michael, yes, just talk about I, I, in, in a sweeping manner. Yes, I, I, I want manner, to do that as we project and yeah. say, what do we do now? Because that's where we're, we're in a no, situation. No, 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 no. You, you know, let me tell you. You know, there's nothing like, what do we do now? We have a Supreme Court order which has directed and instructed IBC to conduct fresh presidential election. He didn't tell, he he didn't tell you to go yes, and that is and that is, and that is court, <laughs> and, and that is uh, order number four. They are very happy with orders number one, two, three. They went and sought orders. You know, you must live by your own, by your own words. If, if you go and seek orders, you don't expect to get all favorable orders. They are orders which are going to be unacceptable to you. Mm. And you know, even, this, even the Supreme Court itself, it stated very clearly. The reduction of minimum includes removal of commissioners. And you know, the High Court, no, 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 in no. a decision no. which was delivered it yesterday, does, as late, as, late as yesterday, in which they sent proxies to go don't to court, uh, in which they sent proxies to go to court, three of them, they went and sought for the removal of about eight members of the commission. No. You know what? You know what? No, you know, no, what, you no, know no, what? You know what the court? No, I'm just telling you what the court said. Mm. The court said in its decision, just Justice Mativo, if they have a problem, they should go back to Jesus. He said, this is a very tired narrative. People come to court to tell us to, to give them orders in something that is completely clear. Article 251 of the Constitution provides for means and ways of removal of commissioners, and there are legal instruments that provide for ways and means of removal of staff. And, it, and, and that is the reason why this decision was, in fact, uh, the, the, the court made a decision and said, look, this, 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 this ought not to be here. 
and, and it dismissed. Okay. Although, although it, it not dismissed with cost, which it, it should have actually dismissed with cost. With cost. In my view, because uh, it was a very frivolous, <laughs> it was a very frivolous. Uh, Senator, suit. Senator, you want to uh, respond to that? And, and Michael, you know, you know, no, you I talked think about. We have not you know, you know, Michael, you know, Michael, you know, you have forgotten one thing that he said. You know, he said that, uh, you know, Jubilee is uh, rushing to make laws to apply retrospectively. You know, this is very basic law, which we are taught in first year. That there is no law which applies retrospectively. And I'm sure you saw most of those members of parliament sitting in, that co in those committees, the, uh, the, uh, the ad hoc committee. Most of them are lawyers. You know, they know that they cannot apply a law to say what the decision, the decision of the Supreme Court was also null and void. They cannot do that. There is no law which is applied. I mean, it will be struck. The Constitution itself is very clear. There is no, which, okay. there is no law First which of can. All, and so the laws which are being made, is, they are being made for posterity. First of and, all. And, and, and they are supposed on. to engage. They are supposed to engage parliament. You know, right. you know this thing of abandoning. The, you know they have abandoned everything. They have abandoned All right, uh, Chef, uh, on walking. Chef Konga, they have abandoned uh, doing let, let me bring in Senator before Actually, we, we lose that the train is, of thought. That's a very interesting thing that you're talking about. Mm. You and I were having a, a discussion mm. off the record, yeah. and then you bring it on record. Mm. And I actually said, we cannot go back. That is what I meant by being retrogressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Mm. So you cannot amend laws that will take us back. Okay? And in this case... No, but you tell us, we'll take just, you back just to Just listen. Where? It will take us back to the Kanu era. No, okay? Yeah, tell what, us what, 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 we, we Tell us, uh, on Senator Ledema, which law, specifically you are making reference, in the amendment laws, that, I will, that was in Kanu era. That was removed in 1991. I or can tell you that very well. Or I can tell you that very clearly. Right when you look at the issue of the penal code, yeah. which I don't want to go back to, I mm. think we have better things to talk about mm. rather than being petty in, in looking at different specific matters. If you look at the subversion rule in the penal code, what happened? It has never been used. It started being used the other day with Bobby Owino. So that is the one thing. Number two, but we, I, we made this, it. Listen, it in listen, amendment? listen. In this amendment, what mm. you're trying to do is, is you're denying, you're withdrawing the powers of the commissioners. You're actually watering them down. Remember that the same chairperson of the commission in these amendments that you now want to give any Tom, Dick, and Harry, that person needs to have laws so that he can even be able to arbitrate in party primaries. You need somebody who's got... Who can, be, who can be able to serve as um, a judge of the Supreme Court? You know, you've got to look at the law in totality. Does it only apply to this one election? And do you, want it, do you only want it to benefit you? So let us, go, let us not go back to things that we've been talking about. Last week, you and I discussed here. We argued about the things that we find that you want to do to be able to favor you. I made it very clear that the laws which are being amended are being amended solely to benefit Jubilee, to benefit the Uhuru, and actually not even the incumbent, in this case, if there was somebody else. This is specifically to benefit Uhuru and Ruto. Okay? So let us not go back that. Today we are going to argue that in the House. It is being taken to plenary. We are going to discuss it. We are going to fight it. We are going to oppose it. All Kenyans opposed it. Everyone who went there did oppose it. As the as international as community opposed it. As All right. You know, some of them, now let me finish. My, You've my given family. him a lot of time and he likes interjecting so much. Mm -hmm. I think what we ought to no, do is to right. remember, is to remember that what these laws will not be for the good of this country. We cannot take this country back. If you are dying so much for power, you should go there and talk to the people to elect you, not for you to come and change the laws. So the reason why we're saying we will not participate in this election is very clear. You know, you cannot have, we cannot spend 14 billion of Kenyans' public funds, of, uh, you know, Kenyans' money, to be able to put in a sham election. We cannot also spend Kenyans' money to entertain people at State House. If you want votes, go to Narok and ask for, people, for votes in Narok. Don't be calling people to State House. You know, okay. those are things which are no, taking us back. Allow me to take a few calls. Michael, Michael, and, and, Michael and, just before you take the calls, you know the, the so-called entertainment. That is, you know it is bad to be made in a public TV 
that what do you uh, mean you are that, doing that, that uh, you've that, you've invited that, narrow uh, residents and you've that, given them three thousand shillings each the 13 billion shillings which has been budgeted for ibc is being used for entertainment by jubilee it's i did true. not say that it's not billion. true you know you no, know I don't secondly, try, don't, secondly, no, no. secondly, Gitonga, secondly i secondly, made secondly, it very secondly, clear Michael, eh? Gitonga, secondly, i told Chepkong, Chepkong that mm. we are not going to spend 14 or 13 billion shillings to hold a, a shaman election. election number two i said jubilee should stop using public funds entertaining people in state house all right, but, okay. but, but that's what I said. But Michael, Gentlemen. Michael, they are not using their own money. They are using our money. Michael, the, the election is flawed in accordance in, in whose what? opinion? It is, it is flawed in, in, in the opinion of one player who wants advantage in this election and he is not getting it. No, all right, I'm going to take some calls. That advantage, that advantage. Let me take a call from no, Robert no in them. KC yeah. and hear what Kenyans have You've to say. Good morning, Robert. Thank you for your call to your comment or question. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Uh -huh. I'm seeing uh, Jeb Conga is still talking. You now, can go ahead. I, go ahead. I have uh, about three points to make. Make them brief, One, please, and straight to the point. Yeah, I would be very brief. Okay. Now, concerning the, 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 the situation in our country at the morning, uh -huh. at the moment, my, my appeal, my appeal, number one, goes to the head of state, His Excellency, the President, and Raila Molodinga, uh -huh. that uh, they should look at the 45 million people behind them, that they should turn down. Uh -huh. Number two goes to Jebu uh, Konga and together with Ledama. Uh -huh. I want to advise them, together with uh, the parties that they represent, to consider the 45 million people in this nation are not to consider their parties. Mm -hmm. As they talk, Kenyans are looking unto them. And the history would judge each and every one of us. Okay. I wanted to say how much we are praying as Kenyans that uh, one of them would become like Abigail, a person with his political and party affiliation, will go beyond there and look at the people, the Kenyans. I listened to Jebukonga last time, and I'm listening to him today, or together with the Ladama. I'm worried that if they go at that speed, then who will control the head of state? Who will control Raila? Number three is to our fellow Kenyans. Siasa inakuja, and the politics go. Uh -huh. On 26th, the elections will be over, but we will remain like Kenyans. I wanted to conclude by saying, that we can are what we are in Africa because we have been held together by a fabric called God himself. He has been a glue to us. Okay. If we continue like this and we don't go back to God, and if God leaves us like he left the children of Israel, it would be very, very difficult for us to come back and be taken to, 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 to like Babylon. All right. I wanted to request the head of state, uh, uh, our excellency, the president whom we love, together with uh, the Prime Minister, Raila Odinga, if they can lead the nation back to repentance. Let us see where we went wrong and repent. Thank you. Uncle who is listening to me. Thank you, Robert. Dama who are listening to me, I want to request that we need to go back to God. Let All right. us turn down the voices. Let All right. Let us not despise them, but let us not say that without this person we can go. All right, Robert, I think we've got your point. Thank you very much. Let's uh, take a call from Clement. Good morning. Thank you for calling to your comment, Clement. A call from Clement, if we can uh, get your comments or question, Clement. Yes. All right, we'll move on to Samson in Shuka. Good morning, Samson. Thank you for calling to your yes. comment or question. Yes, 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 Mr. Gitonga. Yes, go right ahead. Yes, my name is Samson from Zika. I am Samson Wakanane Kutoka Zika. Mm -hmm. I have got uh, only some few, one, two points to make. Uh, make them brief and uh, to the point, please. Yes, in respect to our leaders, we have our and uh, Mr. Chepkonga. We, yes. We, we, Yes, we would want to, to say that uh, it is good that when people request for anything, they need to accept what they have given. You look, the, the High Court, the Supreme Court said that we should go to, they gave an order that 
the, the, they nullified the election. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing they said, the IBC should go and conduct another election. Mm -hmm. Then when we hear the, 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 the NASA people say that it is, they are not going for election, we wonder as people why they should honor one part of the, 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 the order and then decide not to honor the other part. Okay. And this, the same people who had taken that matter to the Supreme Court. Then I need to ask my, my, my good friend, the Senator, because he seems to be contradicting himself when he say, let somebody go to Nalok and request people to vote for him. If, 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 if one go and ask for a vote from Kenyans, and then, then he says that they will not go for, for election, we fail to understand. The other point I fail to understand is when NASA people talk and say that the, the, the Kenyan people say, do they forget that other people who are in other places are also Kenyans? Or what, what, what to scrutinize and define where, people, where Kenyan people mean? What does it mean to talk about Kenyan people? Are they the only NASA people who are called Kenyans? Because they stand, they go on the street. When they go on the street, they start saying the Kenyan people are saying. We who are not going on the street, we are also Kenyans. And we have, we need to have our say. The All right. Comment. The last comment, please, I need one to give is, mm -hmm. we request our leaders to have sober minds. Let them come together, unite this country, and we move on. Thank you, Mr. Getonga. Thank you very much, uh, Samson from uh, Thika. We are going to take a short break at this point and release KTN Home. And uh, those of us on KTN News, we continue with this uh, political